Alright guys! Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> there we go. His meal prep has started. Now you're saying, Alma, there was not a lot of protein in your recent grocery haul. You're right. I had chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs. Matthew wants skinless, boneless thighs. So he's a little bit high maintenance, but I also wanted it for a recipe. So I picked that up for me as well as for Matthew. And then I am again still trying to use up the proteins that I have in my freezer. So this is going to go into my um, fridge for defrosting so I can use as meal prepping tomorrow, day two. Meanwhile, in here I have some jalapenos being roasted. And of course, I've got my bacon cooking in my George Foreman grill. I've got a little bit already ready to go. So let us get started oh and david came home with this yesterday because he wanted me to make some more of the brussels sprout dish guys that is amazing and adding uh the spice to it the heat to it was brilliant all right brilliant it really was so i'm gonna make another batch of it for david i wasn't sure if i was gonna make it to the grocery store so he came home with one yesterday um so that i would have it ready for him today because we finished the leftovers of it yesterday i know you know, sometimes we get a little bit into a routine, but on a meal like that, that's that good, guys? Seriously, uh, yeah, routine is fine with us. All right, so anyway, this will be part of meal prep tomorrow. I'm going to get this cut up, and uh, we'll see what we're going to end up with today. And I'm about to pull out some cheese, start chopping up the cheese, and uh, putting those in containers for easy access. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, quick update on the meal prepping. It is now 401, 6,080 steps, guys, and I'm tired. I don't want to be meal prepping. That bike ride, guys, it kicked my butt, but gosh, guys, I'm tired. I want to take a nap. So here is where we are, guys. I have serrano peppers in here roasting. I have over here four poblano peppers, four jalapeno peppers. This is the chicken that I cut up and I'll be using for a recipe. I made all my bacon. Here's the bacon. I pulled out 10 pieces for my um, Brussels sprouts recipe. I cut up my pepperoni marinara cheese, two of them, and they're in this container. Again, stick your label in here. That way you can scan it easily into my fitness pal. Same thing right here. This is two blocks of the pepper jack cheese. And this also will be cut up um, while this is cooking and bacon drippings. And here's the bacon drippings. Where did I get it? I got it from this bowl. All right, so I'm getting ready to make this recipe here. I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner. I'm making it spicy again, like I did last time. David loved it spicy. And then I'll be following up with another recipe using the shank that I purchased the other day. All right, guys, let's keep it moving. Well, for a little bit at least. Got my helpers. Yep, slackers. All right, guys, so I just shredded this. You know, I'm being lazy. I just grabbed this little hand grater and used that to shred up. So, guys, it took me all of one minute to do four ounces. So, let's get away from those lovely little package cheeses. I'm going to throw in this and uh, let it cook for a while, then stick it in the oven. And then I have one meal down for meal prep. Out of the oven, guys. So yummy. If you so, if you've not tried any of my recipes, guys, Try this one, delicious, part of meal prep. On to the next. Okay guys, one last meal to make and my meal prep for day one is gonna be done. All right, so let me show you. This is about to be a meal that you're gonna see. It's some eggs, it's a mixture of cheese, jalapenos, poblanos, all that good stuff. I've got the uh, shank that I cooked that's gonna go into this next meal. Here is the yummy casserole put into a green container love my green containers guys really allows food to last longer in your fridge so make sure you check it out there'll be a link to my amazon store check them out they're there um, and then the remaining 10 ounces from the chicken that i cut up i'll do a recipe with that tomorrow here is all my drippings and my empties uh, after i finish videotaping i will uh, go ahead and create the recipe on my fitness pal and I use the empties to scan them. All right, let me finish up meal planning. You will see a recipe for this coming up. It is 543, 7,000 steps. And by 630, this meal prep is going to be done. 
All right, guys, so here is the last item for meal prep day one. This is the eggs. Now, what I like to do, guys, is weigh out my container, which is 1.5 ounces, and then put this on the scale. Take the ounces, subtract it from the 1.5, and then divide it out and figure out how many servings it would be. And uh, that's an easy way for you to figure out, if you're doing bulk cooking, how many servings that you would have per batch. All right? So that wraps it up, day one. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time Joyce I post Wednesday a new video. All right, guys, Tomato. have now a great day. Bye-bye. Pork rind, pork rind, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.